In strange news today, remember the bloop? In 1997, a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration hydrophone array recorded a mysterious ultra-low frequency sound that was triangulated to the remote southern Pacific Ocean. The minute-long sound, dubbed the bloop by scientists, was powerful enough to be detected more than 3,000 miles away. By 2002, scientists concurred the bloop was biological in origin, though several times louder than a blue whale, the loudest known animal on the planet. But in 2012, NOAA changed its tune, declaring the bloop was just an Antarctic icequake, undoubtedly relieving seafarers fearing a giant creature dwelling beneath them in the world's 95% unexplored oceans. But it seems the icequake theory no longer holds water. Last week, Russian undersea microphones recorded a sound eerily similar to the bloop. When the original and new recordings were overlapped for independent analysis, the two were an exact match. So what's making the sound? Well, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration isn't commenting on the recent developments, but one environmentalist believes he has an answer. He would only agree to be interviewed under the condition of anonymity because of charges his group, the Deep Ones, is facing in several countries for alleged acts of eco-terrorism. Noah had it right the first time and they know it. The ice quake theory was nothing more than a government cover story, just like a weather balloon in the Roswell incident. The government knows exactly what it is, the church knows what it is, and we know what it is. He's coming.